Sweater. Bully is a game full of details that sometimes even the most avid Bully fan will overlook completely. My name is Wegta, and in today's video, I bring you 10 details you missed in Bully. Probably, odds are, at least one. So let's get to number one. Number one, flying rats. The term flying rat is a New York City slang for the common pigeon. Flying rats actually do make appearances in both GTA 4 and 5, serving as a collectible in GTA 4, and simply as a background scenery animal in GTA 5. But you probably did not know that a flying rat actually does make an appearance in Bully as well, but not in the way you might think. During the observatory boss fight, Jimmy has to destroy several pieces of machinery, all of which hold up the catwalk Ernest Jones is walking on, thus allowing him to plummet to his death. Well, you know, realistically that would happen, but it's bully, so he just falls down and surrenders. Maybe now he'll listen to me. Here, here, just take it! <laughs> what a beta cuck, right? Throughout this boss fight, the camera will not only focus on Jimmy, but also on a flying rat placed behind the building's interior. The way the developers achieve this camera effect is by spawning a rat, precluding it from being affected by gravity, thus allowing it to remain mid-air until, well, until the boss fight ends, and then set the camera to focus both on the player and on the flying rat. The end result being this lovely camera effect. Pretty creative. Number 2, Norton getting arrested. During the final mission of Chapter 3, titled The Rumble, Jimmy has to find and chase Peanut. This usually results in the player overlooking this pretty cool detail. As you follow Peanut towards the Tenements area, you will actually pass by Norton Williams getting arrested by Officer Munson. Way to go, Greaseball! What? Hey, you and I can go back to being enemies if you want. Whoa, whoa! Take it easy! When we get back to the station, you tell them those bruises came from falling down the stairs! Number 3, Jimmy's Clone Throughout the first portion of the mission Complete Mayhem, Jimmy has to take on 4 out of 5 of the school's cliques. Upon reaching the school's gym, the player can see the nerd setting a bunch of gym equipment on fire. Inside this pile of burning equipment, you will find a tackling dummy. What most people, and by most people I mean everyone except me, didn't know is that this is actually a beta version of Jimmy. By having a look at the model's texture in Photoshop, we can see that it's a basic retexture of Jimmy. In fact, by applying some of Jimmy's textures onto this model, we can see that they actually fit perfectly. Number 4, Getting Expelled Getting expelled in Bully is something that only happens once, but there actually are two methods you can use to get expelled. After completing the mission Preppy's Vandalized in Chapter 5 and going to bed, Jimmy will wake up to the sound of Miss Danvers calling him to the principal's office. Jimmy Hopkins, proceed to the office right away. Do not dawdle. From here on, you can either A. Manually make your way to Dr. Travelsnitch's office and start the go-see-the-principal cutscene, or B. You can get busted by a prefect, thus automatically initiating the aforementioned cutscene. Some people actually use this as a speedrunning strat when speedrunning any percent in Bully, but the problem with doing this is that most of your weapons will be removed, which can become a problem during the following two missions. Number 5, The Eggs. During the Chapter 2 mission titled The Eggs, Jimmy is given a task of picking up some eggs and meeting the preps at Tad's house. This is quickly followed with Tad and his fellow preps betraying Jimmy and wanting to kick his ass. You've been rude about mommy! Let's get this, Papa! During this portion of the mission, several preps will actually appear on the top floor of Tad's house, all armed with eggs. If you manage to make your way up to the second floor via mods, then you can actually provoke these guys to fight you hand to hand. The unexplained and frankly really odd part about this is the fact that they all use a beta fighting style. This fighting style is named G underscore ranged underscore A, and it's actually a fighting style which was initially meant to be used by greasers. Why these preps are using this fighting style remains unknown. If you have any ideas, please let me know, cause I sure as fuck don't. Number 6, Johnny the Adult. When sneaking into the asylum in an attempt to rescue Johnny Vincent, Johnny will, for whatever reason, be set to behave and be treated like an adult. 
It even goes to the extent that if Jimmy greets Johnny, then he'll call him Sir. It remains unclear why this is, but my theory is that Rockstar wanted the orderlies to basically ignore Johnny Vincent during his escape. As most of you know, prefects, cops, and orderlies tend to ignore adults, as long as they aren't assaulting other adults. Number 7. Chad's Baseball When confronting Darby, or Derby, or... Fuck it, this guy. This fucking guy, okay? When confronting this guy, the following cutscene will play. Hey, Derby. Someone's here to see you. Oh, it's the thug. Don't worry, boys. I'll deal with him. You're getting really tiresome, heroes. Cut it out. After the cutscene ends, Dorby and his prep friends will attack Jimmy and Russell. One small detail that most people never see and no one really gets is why Chad is armed with a baseball. Out of all of the weapons he could have been armed with, Rockstar specifically makes him spawn with a baseball every time. Which really makes no sense, because the baseball isn't even meant to be used as a normal weapon. The baseball was specifically made for the Carnival Strikeout minigame. Number 8. Face Shoving In Bully, there actually exists a special taunt which is never introduced to the player. Oddly enough, this is something that the community picked up on years after Scholarship Edition came out, so this is something that has been around since 2006, but no one really discovered until way later. If you arm yourself with either an egg, a snowball, a balloon, an apple, or a banana, you can perform this special taunt move. Looking good today. I don't like you! Sucks to be you! Oh. Hi there! Strangely enough, this will only result in a low wanted level, even when you perform this on adults, females, and little kids. So, you know, if you want to get away with abusing kids, do that in Bully. I mean, hey, it's better to do it in a game than in real life, right? Number 9. Gary the Cheater Now this is by far the most bullshit thing in the game's last mission. Get it? Bullshit? Ha! <laughs> when chasing Gary to the top of the school, he will on occasion chuck bricks at Jimmy. Because, you know, he's an asshole. Got something for ya! The most annoying thing about this, aside from Jimmy having to take the occasional brick to the face, is that the game won't permit you to retaliate. At all. The game completely forbids you from picking up one of the bricks and throwing it back at Gary. If you do so, then you will automatically fail the mission and be sent back to the beginning of the chase. Heads up! Ow! You can't do that! So it's perfectly okay for Gary to throw bricks at you, push down a bunch of wheelbarrows full of cinder blocks, and even have a bunch of fucking huge bells almost crush you along the way, but don't you even dare for a second think you can retaliate. Rockstar, this is fucking bullshit and you know it. Stop it. Don't do this again. It's fucking stupid. Number 10. Academy Crest The school's Academy Crest went through several revisions during development. The crest initially had a black, white, and yellow color scheme. This would eventually be changed to red and white. And by the time digital artist Jared Fry had almost completed his work on most of the characters, the iconic version of the logo we all know and love had arrived. Oddly enough, you can, for whatever reason, still see an older version of the Academy's Crest logo in the school's auditorium during the Chapter 1 mission titled The Candidate. This logo will also appear on the cricket bats that Jimmy can pick up. Although if Jimmy decides to pick up a cricket bat, then the logo on it will change to something more closely resembling the final version. You know, on occasion, some of my audience members will actually email me pictures of bully tattoos they have, and 9 times out of 10, it's this logo. And I honestly can't blame them. It is fucking beautiful. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about this game, then I'd recommend checking out my video, The Dark Side of Bully You Never Saw. Links can be found on the screen and in the video info. Anyway, that's it for me. You folks, as always, stay classy. Peace.